Is that White Claw I said in her refrigerator? You are a gay! Hi everyone! My name is Tyler Oakley and look who I'm with today! My name is Kim Chi. The one and only Kim Chi. Hello! Hi! How are you? Good, how are you? Thank you for having me in your channel. Shut up! You're so oh, really? professional! <laughs> of course, thank you for being here. Congratulations! First and foremost, before we talk about anything else, congratulations on your makeup launch. Thank you. What is it called officially? Kim Chi Shake Beauty. Oh, wow! Look at her! Ta-da! That is so cute! This is very you. Well today, you know, I love drag. I have been a fan of drag for a long, long time, and I have been a fan of you for longer than that. What people don't know is we went to high school together. The rumors are true. Oka Mrs. Finest. Oh, what? Oh, six. No, you. No, no one's that. <laughs> and we were both yearbook editors of our high yes, school. Yes, we were. Yeah. So I have done drag transformations in the past. So with all of that in mind, I feel like I had to go next level because out of all the drag queens that I have been a fan of, yes, a lot of them do drag, but not many of them are able to also do actual art. Your drag Drag aesthetic is not just lips and mascara. You make masterpieces. Thank you. It's a lot to take in, but I'll take it. So what are we doing today? So today I'm gonna turn you into a cute, sad little strawberry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> not much is gonna change. That's my natural human state. Cute, sad strawberry. Shall we begin? Yes. So I'm like actually blind. So from here on out, I'm trusting it's perfect. You. No spoilers. <laughs> Have you considered LASIK? That feels pointed. All right, so we're gonna glue your brows down. Oh, wow. I can shave them off if you need me to. Are you willing to for the video? No! <laughs> Do you have a glue preference? Elmer's glue. I've heard of Elmer. Don't they turn horses into glue? Do they? Thank you, horses. <laughs> Thank you, horses. <laughs> Okay, so we need to start at the beginning. We're both from Okemos, mm -hmm. Okemos, Michigan. You were in the grade above me. Yes, I was. What was your time like in high school? From my memory, you were pretty quiet. I was very closeted. You kept to yourself. Yeah. I knew that you were like an art kid. I feel like you were on my bus. I was on your bus. Were you really? Yes. See, are my memories not completely failed? <laughs> Back in high school, I was actually very jealous of you. What do you mean? Because you were very loud and proud. Uh, you were a DK <laughs> in high school. No. Uh, yes, you were, you were a DK. There were a lot of gays in our high school. But you like, were the only one that was like out and about. Really? Yeah. Well, that's very sweet of you to say. For you, when did you come out? You're like, I'm actually not gay. I don't know. <laughs> Just this is my coming out video, I'm actually straight. Well, I never actually came out, came out, but when I went to college, everyone just assumed that I was gay. Right. Because I was in art school. And I didn't have to <laughs> explain anything to anybody. They were like, all right, cool. And I remember you played the lead in every single school play. That is not true. Cool. See, your memory is already failing you because bitch, no, I remember. everybody else was a lead. I was always like the narrator. I remember yeah, um, I was like, narrator. Why did you never do the musicals? I don't want that kind of talent. <laughs> Neither do I. In high school, had you ever seen anything about drag? Or did you know anything about drag? I didn't have any exposure to any gay culture at all. I didn't even know like what Tuong Fu was. I didn't know like any of the gay movies. I still haven't seen that. I know. The only exposure to gay culture I had was probably Queer as Folk. I ordered the DVDs on eBay from China for $10. No! And I would hide it inside my pillow so my mom wouldn't find it. Oh my god. And when my mom would be at work and my brother wouldn't be home, I'd watch one episode at a time. So that was your glimpse into gay life. Did you ever go to Spiral? Yes. Spiral, for those of you who aren't from mid-Michigan, how would you explain it? Um, <laughs> at the time I was like, oh, this is my Babylon. You can't tell me shit. Yeah. The first time I went in, there were gay guys dancing and I'm like, what is this culture shock? I felt a little dirty to be there. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> I went for the first time I was 14. Yo. I had somebody's fake ID. I was with a bunch of my lesbian friends and I was dancing like really <laughs> awkwardly in a corner because you know, I didn't know how to dance. Still same, don't. same. <laughs> they were going up to like random guys like, would you go dance with our friend? And then these gay guys would a true ally. and then like grind up me and I'm like, I don't know what to do. And I ran out of there. And never been back. Never ever been since. Back. I don't really remember many drag queens though, like in Michigan. What was the first time you ever saw a drag queen? I think the first time I ever saw a drag queen was They Met Not and Allie McBeal. Oh my God. <laughs> that <laughs> is a reference. Yep. When you saw that, did you think, oh, I want to do that someday? Or was that just kind of like a what? No, I would have like never thought a man in a lavender wig with like bad makeup. Well, maybe. But now know. like that's me now. I don't know how to I'll tell you this. Me now. I didn't start drag until 2012. Do you know a drag queen named Pearl? She was in season seven. Yeah. We were best friends at the time and we didn't do drag, but she was like, I'm gonna do drag for fun on Halloween. Do you want to do it with me? And I was like, sure. So both of your first time trying drag was together? Together, yeah. That's so cute. <laughs> and we did drag and the first night we went out, we got booked for a show. Oh, bitch. So <laughs> after that, once somebody starts offering you money, it's kind of like, exactly. well. The first time I ever witnessed a drag queen, mm -hmm. I was petrified. 
Really? Wow. Yeah, because they were like larger than life and... Was it Trixie Mattel that he fell for the first time? Because Avi Petrified. Uh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> it was at Spiral. She was like one of those queens that would heckle the crowd and like could feel the nervous energy of a twink in the room and like hone in and be like, come here. I was the nervous twink in the room. <laughs> Are you putting red on me? I am. Am I beautiful? Not yet. How dare you? <laughs> How did you come up with the name Kimchi? Kimchi is a national dish of Korea. So I wanted to pick a name that sounds feminine but represents my culture. Okay, at the same well, time. look at you giving me your talking points. <laughs> when did you pick it? The first night I went out in drag, it was a debate between Lucy Lube and Disney Princess. You need to be stopped. <laughs> And you went with kimchi. I think yep. we are all better for it. Do you remember when we did a flash mob? Yes! At the Meridian Mall? <laughs> Wait, you were there? I was there. Oh my god, we did a flash mob at our local mall. That is so funny. It, it was all dressed as superheroes, right? Yes. <laughs> what were you dressed as? I didn't have a superhero costume, so I just wore a scarf. <laughs> The creativity jumped out. I was poor. <laughs> I can't afford like a superhero costume for like a flash mom. So Drag Race started before you ever did drag. Was there ever a moment after you made kimchi that you thought, oh, maybe I could actually go on Drag Race? After seeing Pearl and Trixie audition and get on, mm -hmm. I was like, well, let me audition too and just see what'll happen for fun. Mm -hmm. And then I got on the first time I auditioned. Oh, bitch. So you auditioned for Drag Race. You get the call. What was your first emotion? And I'm like, well, this is it. <laughs> <laughs> My life it's can be over. separated between before this and after this. I remember the first time I heard that you did drag. Oh yeah, how did you hear about it? But I remember I was sitting on my couch and I looked you up on Facebook and I said, this cannot be. I was blown away. <laughs> and I texted everybody from high school. I said, did you know, bitch? Because why didn't anybody tell me? And I said, look through all of her profile pictures. This is insane. You started vlogging. And at the time, like I didn't understand like what vlogging was on MySpace or something. And I'm like, uh -huh. this is so narcissistic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're not wrong. And then you respond like, what about it? <laughs> Wait, you commented that and I replied that? Yeah. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> That's and then funny. I started watching the videos and one of my roommates was like, have you ever heard of this vlogger? He is so funny. And then she put <laughs> the video on and it was your video. Oh no. You were going off about this kid in your class. Sounds about right. You were like this. <sighs> this girl in my math class. And <laughs> now we're going to use my palette. Rainbow Sharks palette. Rainbow Shark? Rainbow Sharks. No. Yeah. Once you have a palette, do you ever use anybody else's shit? No. Good for you. I mean, I'll... <laughs> So you go into the workroom for the very first time. Did you think you had a chance? Did you think, oh bitch, this is mine? Only thing that I want to do is at least make it halfway. Okay. And if I wasn't gonna make it halfway, I want to be the first one to go. First girls are always like remembered. Are they? I think so, more than like- Who was the first girl out on your season? Ah! Exactly! <laughs> <laughs> what moments do you feel like you really shined during your season? I feel like anytime I get to like represent my culture, like the other book ball challenge, I get to share like a lot of Korean culture and my story with mm -hmm. the general public. Whenever I meet like a lot of like Asian Americans, they tell me like, oh, I'm going through like, the same thing like you went through like as a kid and it's so good to be able to like see my story mm -hmm. or a story that I relate to like on American television screen. Are there any looks that you brought that you wish you could have shown? Here's some tea. I'm not gonna say who it was. But tell me everything. <laughs> I'm not trying to like start drama, but prior to going on Drag Race, I asked someone who's already been in Drag Race, hey, is there someone like there to like help you out with in case like I need like someone to help me get dressed? And this person said, no, like don't bring anything you can't get into on your own because hmm. there will be no one to help you. Which is so, so not true. So then I left a lot of my intricate costumes behind only to find out when I got there that there is PAs there like to help you. Yeah, I was a little like mad about that, but it's all in the past now. Being on Drag Race, what was the hardest part? I think like the biggest challenge is dealing with the fans online. Really? So many online trolls. Harder to deal with the fans and the trolls than actually competing on the show. Yes. You know, like when your inbox is like filled with like messages of like people telling you that you're not worth anything and to quote kill yourself. Yeah, I don't love that. You so know? you got my messages. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> got it. Gay people are crazy. <laughs> like honestly. We'll talk about like straight people being mean. Mm -hmm. Gay people can cut. Yeah. I'm like cut, twist a knife, take it out, and put salt on it. And use the salt on a margarita, <laughs> and then good to go. Are there queens that you came up with that you think deserve to go on the show? T-Rex, she's a drag queen from Chicago. She's really funny. There's also a queen named It's Me Valentine. She's a plus size girl, but she celebrates her body, but like in a very like empowering way. There's a queen named Eva Young, a beautiful Chinese queen. All of her looks are impeccable. So Drag Race has turned into an empire. So you got like the Vegas show that's coming out. 
Yo. Will you be a part of that? Yes, I will be. Absolutely. <laughs> Celebrity drag race. Yep. Which will I you will be a part will. of that? Which I will also be. <laughs> so bitch, she's working. Would you ever do an all-star season? I'm not gonna say no. Honestly, it's very scary. Because I've seen like all-stars like elevate so many queens to the next level. Or ruin them. Exactly. I just realized I'm not wearing lipstick. Disgusting. This whole time I've been doing this video without a lipstick. I didn't say anything because I needed to be the prettiest in the room. <laughs> so in another universe where you didn't discover drag, what would 32 year old you be doing? Probably working as a graphic designer for corporate. Probably hating my life. <laughs> Did you work at McDonald's? No, I worked at Burger King. You worked at Burger King? Yeah. Was that all in the same corner? Yup. <laughs> We're disgusting. BK, Frilling Broiled Whopper. You have a very ASMR voice. It's very soft-spoken. Uh-huh, like smooth. <laughs> Do you listen to any ASMR? I like the ones where they take nails and then they're like, Playing in on the glass. Uh, you know what I'm no. <laughs> oh, like fingernails. Yeah, fingernails. I was glass. imagining like screws and things and no. hitting them on glass. Do I look ridiculous? Have you ever hooked up with somebody in drag? No. Would you? I mean, drag is not like a sexual thing for me. Go. It is for me. <laughs> <laughs> look at me. Can you see? <laughs> I've never felt sexy in drag. Are you kidding? Look at you right now. Do you think I look sexy right yes. now? Yes. <laughs> so if you had to describe your style of drag and what like makes kimchi different than all. All these other drag queens, what makes kimchi different? I think kimchi is like a visual fairy tale. Mm -hmm. Tells a story, like using her like outfit as like a medium. So many of like the um, drag here in North America is so focused on mm -hmm. sexuality. But for me, it's all about celebrating parts of female fashions and the female world that's more focused on cutesy, adorable, kawaii. <laughs> What's the most used gif of you that you ever see? The popcorn. The There's the one when like all the queens are fighting and just me going pop. Oh, incredible. That's the one that I see all the time and me falling. What does that say? <laughs> so when you went on Drag Race, mm -hmm. I feel like you offered a lot of new perspective for a lot of fans because there's not a lot of queens that are Asian who have been on Drag Race. What was that experience like to be one of the first that has made it so far? <laughs> I mean, like the pressure was definitely on, you know? In my head, I kept telling myself like, don't embarrass Korea. Don't. <laughs> and you know, I don't think I embarrassed them too much. No! What's going on on my face? Little teardrops. Cause you're a sad strawberry. <laughs> Why am I sad? <laughs> Why not? Sure. I'm so sad. <laughs> now, obviously it's cool to make makeup and have your own line and blah, 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 blah. But you're also doing good. I think so. And like giving back to the community in a way that's really meaningful. Tell me about your collaboration with the Trevor Project. So 2% of the total proceeds go towards Trevor Project. That's huge. That's Plus awesome. like other donations we make. So the fact that every single thing you can get in the link below supports a cause that saves lives, that is like game changing. Open your eyes. Ooh, I feel like I'm wearing a visor. <laughs> really? This is, it, this is what it looks like. Perfect. Now when you say perfect, as good as it gets. There we go. Okay. I think all we need is the wig. My face is done. Yes. I truly have no clue what I look like right now. <laughs> I haven't been paying attention at all to like colors or like things that you've been doing in my face. We've just been giggling, but now I'm like, oh shit. I think um, you look cute. Okay. Right. Is that the wig? It's the wig. <sighs> They're not ready, mama. <laughs> Seeing you smile like that makes me nervous. <laughs> what do you see? Now, a beautiful strawberry. <laughs> Would you fuck me? No. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. What's my drag name as a strawberry? Strawberry, strawberry shortchange. I mean, yeah, yeah, it works. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the stage. Strawberry shortchange. <laughs> okay. How do I look? Am I stunning? Am I beautiful? Uh -huh, uh -huh. What? <laughs> This wig! What have you done? <laughs> this is iconic. Oh, do you like it? Yeah, this is incredible. It's so stupid. I just feel like this is great for the Meridian Mall. <laughs> this is this for Okemos. Okemos, Michigan. A pure Michigan look. <laughs> this is pure Michigan. Well, if I'm giving strawberry, you're kind of giving me blueberry. Yeah, totally. Just a handful of berries. <laughs> Pop them all in your mouth. There's Full of vitamin C. Sure. Oh, we're sour. <laughs> But sometimes we're sweet. Currently we're <laughs> ripe. It's done. It's yeah. done. No more. Well, thank you so much for today. Thank, thank you for you. coming and hanging out and playing with my face. The Okemos dream. Can you believe? The Michigan dream, yeah. Ten years later. <laughs> would you have been able to predict that this is where we would have been? <laughs> Kim, you are everywhere on the internet. You're on Twitter, Instagram, and your website for your makeup, which is kimtoshakebeauty.com. So I'm going to put all the links in the description below. Go give Kim some love. Follow her on Instagram. Because she is honestly one of my favorite queens to follow on Instagram. If you like this look or Kim's look. You can see more looks using the Kimchi Chic Beauty line on the Instagram, which I'm gonna put below. Now, I know that you said that while this is high quality, it is still affordable, mm -hmm. but I do wanna give the people at home a little something. So I was thinking about doing a giveaway. What are your thoughts? Yes, please. Let's okay. give it all away.
Totally. So all you gotta do if you wanna win is give the video a like, and then comment below with your favorite color in the palette. From the Rainbow Stars palette. Yep. Beautiful. And then if we pick you, we're gonna send you a PR box of all the goodies in Kim Ji's line. Happy commenting. <laughs> <laughs> you're so sensual. <laughs> what do you mean you're not a sexual being? Please. Happy commenting. Happy commenting. Do you like my body? We gotta go. <laughs> if you like this video, what can they do? Like it. Subscribe. Share. Share it. Why not? Yeah, press the share button. Ooh. Send it to your friends. What? Share it on Facebook. Yes. If you still use Facebook. Well, yeah. That's all. All right. Burger King, McDonald's, signing out. Deuces. <laughs>